was 15, my art teacher said, paint a skull. What, I said, a boring old cow's skull? It's all black and white. No, he said, switch the colours over. Change them around. Paint them whichever colour you want. Jazz it up. Wow, I said, whatever colours I want. Yes, he said, make sure they're bright and brilliant. Intense, bright, brilliant, saturated, colour-rich colours. Now that interested me. Looking into the rainbow, seeing the brilliance at the heart of colour. Wow! Look at that. I spent hours looking at this painting by Matisse. Those colours, so bright, tense. Where did they come from? So full of sunlight. How did he do it? When I put a green, it is not grass. When I put a blue, it is not the sky. Anyone who paints and sees a sky green and past is blue ought to be sterilised! The grass isn't always green, it's pink. Invent your way to make colour come to life. Don't think conventionally. Rules hold you back. Find alternatives. It's good to know the rules, so you can break them. This struggle for creative freedom, for artistic liberty, I suspect stays with an artist all the way throughout his life. It comes from the fact that we deal in illusions. Paintings are illusions, like dreams, mirages, we have to use colour to give life to painting. We use colour to create light. Light, feeling, meaning, colour. When you look closely, you will see that there's an inner light, a bit like a rainbow, and it is very beautiful, lovely to see in dark times.